Hello and welcome to Mental Maths. In this video series, we've been learning how to teach mental addition without counting using fingers. In the first video, we saw how to teach the portions shaded in blue. In the second video, we saw how to teach the portions shaded in yellow. In this video, we'll see how to teach the remaining portions in easy steps. So we'll start with the portions shaded in green. We'll start with what they have learned already. We'll use doubles in addition to teach this part. By doubles in addition, we mean 1 plus 1 is equal to 2, 2 plus 2 is equal to 4, and so on. By using this step, 1 plus 1 is equal to 2, we can teach 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. Similarly, from 2 plus 2 is equal to 4, we can teach that 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. And we can continue like this for the other numbers. 3 plus 3 is equal to 6, and 3 plus 4 is equal to 7. So, by doing this, we can teach all these equations shown here. Now we'll see how to teach some of the equations shown here. For example, to teach 4 plus 5, we can start with 4 plus 4 is equal to 8, which they've already learned in doubles and addition. And from that, we can teach 4 plus 5 is equal to 9. Similarly, to teach 7 plus 8, we can start with 7 plus 7 is equal to 14, which they've already learned in doubles and addition. And we can teach that 7 plus 8 is equal to 15. By following the steps, we can teach the portions shaded in green. Once the child has learned these equations, you can teach the other set of equations by changing the combinations. For this, you can use flashcards as mentioned earlier. For example, to teach 7 plus 8, we can start with 7 plus 7 is equal to 14, which they've learned in doubles in addition. You can also teach that 7 plus 8 is the same as 8 plus 7. You can also use 8 plus 8 is equal to 16 and go in the reverse direction and teach 8 plus 7 is equal to 15. So this is also possible. Now in step 8, we can teach addition tables of 9. This may sound complicated, but we've already learned the equations in black in the previous steps. So there are only four new equations that the child has to learn now. Now by learning these equations, the child will be able to add any combination where there is a 9. Now in this step, we have covered the portions shaded in pink. Now there is only a small portion left. In the next step, we will see how to learn the remaining portion. In step 9, we can teach combinations such as 7 plus 4, 7 plus 5, 8 plus 4, 8 plus 5 and 8 plus 6. To do that, we can use addition combinations of 10, which we have already seen in the first video. Now for example, to teach 7 plus 4, we can start with 7 plus 3 is equal to 10. And then we can go to 7 plus 4 is equal to 11. To teach 7 plus 5, again we can start with 7 plus 3 is equal to 10. Then we can go to 7 plus 4 is equal to 11. And 7 plus 5 is equal to 12. By repeating these combinations again and again, the child will be able to remember these equations. Similarly, for teaching 8 plus 4, we can start with 8 plus 2 is equal to 10, which is an addition combination of 10. Then we can go to 8 plus 3 is equal to 11 and 8 plus 4 is equal to 12. Similarly, for 8 plus 5, we can start with 8 plus 2 is equal to 10, 8 plus 3 is equal to 11, 8 plus 4 is equal to 12. And your child will be able to say 8 plus 5 is equal to 13. Similarly, for teaching 8 plus 6, we can start with 8 plus 2 is equal to 10, 8 plus 3 is equal to 11, 8 plus 4 is equal to 12, 8 plus 5 is equal to 13. And your child will be able to say 8 plus 6 is equal to 14. We can also use 6 plus 6 is equal to 12, which we get from doubles in addition. From there, we can count 6 plus 7 is equal to 13, and 6 plus 8 is equal to 14. So, in step 9, we've covered all these combinations. Once a child is familiar with all these combinations, you can change the order and teach the other combinations. For example, 7 plus 4 is equal to 11. You can teach that 7 plus 4 is the same as 4 plus 7. And for this, you can use flashcards as mentioned in the previous video. The worksheets are available for step 7, step 8 and step 9 separately. You can use the worksheets for additional practice. In this video series, we have covered the entire addition table. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.